And if you get prompted to boot from the CD, as we're going to hear, it's going to say uh, press any key to boot from the CD, which we will. And uh, this will initiate the install procedure. This uh, press F6 if you want to install a third party RAID driver. That's what we had to do for the uh, system build. Basically, it's loading up some files to prepare for the installation. Right here, we got a resolution notifier because it's a, an LCD panel. We'll hit exit on the monitor. And this continues for a few minutes as it uh, preloads some files. Okay, here we have the first of uh, a few choices we need to make. To set up Windows XP now, press Enter. And we'll hit F8 to agree. Right now it's searching for previous versions of Windows we have on the machine. And in fact, we do have a previous install of uh, XP. And we do not want to repair this installation. Uh, repairing is more like an overlay, and it really won't truly clean your system. Um, so it's a good thing to just hit escape right here for don't repair to continue installing a fresh copy so we're going to hit escape now the partition one is already formatted as NTFS we have a 20 gig drive also we have this unpartitioned space at 8 megabytes that seems to be some leftover uh, item if we install it on this partition right now uh, if we hit enter to install it's going to not format the drive. So we definitely want to have it format the drive. But we don't have any option here to format. But we do have delete partition. So we're going to hit D. Use the arrows to highlight your current installation. And we're going to hit D to delete partition. This will totally blow away your machine, so make sure you have everything backed up. The partition you tried to delete is a system partition. We're getting all kinds of warnings. To delete this partition, press Enter. And again, to delete this partition, press L. So it's like we have to go through two or three confirmations. So we're going to hit L. And now, just like a brand new hard drive, we have the entire drive being unpartitioned space. We have to create a partition on the unpartitioned space. So we're going to hit C. And uh, maximum size is, of course, the full size of the hard drive. You can uh, banter about if you want to uh, have multiple partitions, such, such as a C drive, a D drive. I just like to have one big C partition. Um, so we're going to leave this at the maximum. And we're going to hit Enter to create. And now we have our newly defined partition and again we have that little 8 megabytes left over I wouldn't really uh, be concerned with that uh, and now we can enter to install